Vineland High School is up by one point in the fourth quarter, and look at number 55 on Eastern. Just bulldoze past 73, strip the ball loose, recover it himself, and celebrate accordingly. Watch that play again. All right, here he is. Off, bust that guy, 73, kind of not even really trying, got the game in hand, strips the ball loose, gets it himself, puts Eastern in a spot to take the lead in this game. This is New Jersey High School. This was an Thanksgiving Invitational for like the NJIAAUA. There's a lot of letters involved. I didn't really understand what was going on. All right, they're going to give the ball to number one, the running back. He dips, he dives, doesn't get that many yards. They're down by one. It's second and nine now. They're going to give the ball to the other running back. He runs into the pile, doesn't get that many yards. I don't know what he got. It was second and nine, and now it's third and seven. So he got two. Now the quarterback's going to roll out, third and seven, and that's got nothing doing. Fourth and seven, he throws it to number four, He gets tackled, he's down, and they're going to mark it here. And this is where it gets really funky. So let's slow it down. And where would we mark it? Obviously, we only have one camera angle. The ball's on his right side. If his knee is down there, you're probably looking at, if that's the 10, 11, like the 12-yard line. If his knee wasn't down and he rolls, then maybe it's the 11-yard line. It's definitely not further than that. So the one ref's going to get the ball. The other ref is marking it with his feet. And this guy's like, nah, move up a little bit. So they put it at, I think, the 11. And everyone's saying, no, it's first down. No, it's not a first down. Now, the ref in the white hat, he says, everybody get out of here. I need some time alone with this situation. Yeah, they put it at the 11. I think it wasn't even that far. And that looks like it might be a first down. Nice nice New Jersey Devils sweatpants by this guy. So watch this. It's pretty wild. They're like, all right, let's stretch the chains. So the guy, the guy with the chain, he's like, stretches him as far as he can. And, okay, that's going to be short by a little bit. And look at the ref. He grabs it. So first he grabs it, moves it closer. The chain's not even taut now. <laughs> then he grabs the ball <laughs> and inches it. And he's like, yep, first down. Now the best part is the other team is scouring over, watching over his shoulder like they're on the ball. It's not like they're not watching. And look at number 52's reaction. I mean, look at all the reactions when he moves it and moves it. Green gloves go up in the air, and 50's like, what? And this ref is just, uh, okay then. First down. Wild. No, don't stretch it that far. And the ball was probably actually there. First down. Okay. All right. And then he's going to walk to the center, and he's just saying, I ain't taking no guff. I ain't taking no guff. You guys talk about what you just saw. It'll be an automatic first down. You good? You good? And he's like, yeah. Yeah, we're good, man. We just want you to leave us alone. Thanks, man. See ya. And he's like, all right, that's it. No talking about it. The best part was the announcer's reactions. Listen to what they say. Stretch that, baby. There we go. Give it a good pull. And Vineland's defense. Oh, no. What? What? <laughs> what? That was a little suspect there. <laughs> it looked like it was a half a yard short. <laughs> it was, and then it looked like uh, our our official there pushed the ball a little bit forward and signaled it a first down. Just men of integrity calling the game. They got to call it like they see it. Now the other ref who initially marked it a little short, he's going to be like, uh, I don't know, and he calls a hold on number 56, the center here, who turns around. And he's like, what? Flag? What? Hold? What? Me? Oh, what? No. And look at number one, just dogging him. Come on, dude. Are you kidding me? They're all yelling at him. It's like he didn't even do anything, guys. The refs are just kind of having a tug of war with the rules here. He gives you the first. They push back. Oh, look at number one, showing them how to push. Push them. Push them. Don't hold them. Push them. Push them. 56, got your back, man. I don't think you did anything. I mean, your hands weren't perfect, I guess. You're not on his chest. But the ref who calls it isn't even looking on this side of his body. He's looking at the other side. I guess we can't see the other side. Didn't even really affect the play, though. Boo. See, the flag came from over there. And there's the other official who thought it was short of the first down. 
going to call that hold and push him back. I saw some people saying that it didn't affect the game because Vineland still won, but it definitely affected the game. I mean, on that drive where it should have been a turnover on downs, they scored a touchdown to go ahead in the fourth quarter. The refs are just lucky that Eastern, like, really did need their help because Vineland does come back to score. Good for number zero there. So they return the kick pretty decently there, and then they're going to score a touchdown on second and goal. And they win, and then it doesn't really matter, but it does. They said these refs will not be allowed to ref playoff games anymore. It doesn't seem like that much of a punishment, but maybe the pay's better. I don't know, but, like, you blatantly cheated. Find out why. This was a fun play from earlier in the game I saw that I figured I'd share. Watch, uh, Watch the dude just sneaking up, just sneaking up, hiding behind all the big guys, hiding, hiding. They take the snap. Handle the little fumble ruski. He comes around the side. It's awesome. They gain yards. No, he gets stripped. Fumbles it. Number three. Grabs it, picks it up. Not not good in the end. But fun, but not good. Anyway, that ref cheated. 